Well then, it's time for me to come in and rebuild. The Liverpool legend has been kicked out of the club. The fans have been asking for this one for quite some time. And now, it's time to rebuild Aston Villa and give these fans some hope to hopefully see their team succeed. Today, we're chasing it down. I can't wait to dive in. This should be a lot of fun and we're going to do it with a little bit of a twist. Or should I say, with a little bit of a wheel and that wheel my friends is this beautiful thing right here well you might ask yourself how does this work then well you can see the colors are attached to specific letters but these letters actually mean countries or regions so if we land on yellow that means we can sign players from south america that one right there is england italy spain germany france and the last one the green one means we can sign players from any country we want to now here's the thing we only get to spin this once every single season which dedicates or decides which country we can go after. One chance and one chance only. If it doesn't fit the bill of what we need in a team, well, so be it. Let's go for it. First spin of the wheel. Aston Villa, what are we going to be getting? It's going to be blue, light blue. Spain. Ooh, I like Spain. But here's the catch. As much as I would like to dive in and bring a bunch of Spanish people into this team, I want the first season to go with no transfers. And here's the reason why. I want to see what this team is lacking and why it didn't work out with Stevie G. Let me know in the comments down below why you think things haven't gone too well with the Liverpool legend. Do you think it's his fault or do you believe that the team itself just wasn't built the proper way? For example, transfers not really necessarily being perfectly done. And who should be coming in to save this Aston Villa squad? I've seen a few things online talking about like Pochettino and stuff, but I really wonder if he would take on a project like this. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Now at the end of season one and Aston Villa has gotten themselves into the seventh position. I did not expect us to do this well and this is without transfers guys so the team itself it clearly shows now obviously it's fifa it's not real life but it kind of shows statistically the team is not that awful right you would expect them to do somewhat well and not be struggling as much as they have in real life so maybe villa has it right in letting stevie g go or has it been the circumstances i still haven't decided for myself but coming into that seventh spot i think we are qualifying for the conference league and team management let me show you ollie watkins 81 when di turned into a left wing 82 rated leon bailey as a right wing got a plus three in his position incredible stuff there mcginn Kamara is an amazing player I absolutely love. Uh, Ramsey has not necessarily grown too much, which is obviously a little bit of a letdown. And then we have the likes of Digne, Diego Carlos, Konza, Cash, and Martinez. Martinez with the 85 rating, 6 foot 5 tall goalkeeper. He is ridiculous. And then we actually have some beasts on the bench as well. So I gotta say, man, Aston Villa on paper have some really good players, but things haven't really worked out. After the first season... 22 and 5 on Leon Bailey. Best season from him. Coutinho. Okay. 30 goal contributions. So he has played over Ramsey. What a season that is, Coutinho. He deserves to go up in his rating next season or at least have the opportunity to do so. Watkins 16 and 8. Begin 5 and 6. I mean, I gotta say. I really like what the team has done, but now it's time for a couple of Spanish people to walk into this team. The first man from Spain walking into the club is a man that's going to replace Buendia on the left. It is Oyarzabal. Not necessarily a wonder kid, but my God, this guy is sick. And his contract was running out, so we got him for cheap. Welcome to the squad, Mikel Oyarzabal, 35 million plus Buendia. An 86 rated player. As far as I know, oh boy, what a player that is. Look at that. He comes into the squad now because Coutinho, after the performances from last season, deserves to get his chance once again in this year, in my opinion. So he goes there onto the left. Ramsey goes down to the bench. He's going to be a backup. He's a great talent that I absolutely love in terms of like watching him last season. I thought he was incredible, but I really hope he gets to play that type of style once again, where he could showcase his abilities. Hopefully we'll see that sometime in the future. But uh, Kamara and Douglas Luiz are in that CDM position at the moment. I am thinking of upgrading in different areas too, but that Oyar Zabal transfer is big. And our budget is actually quite large, to be honest with you. Right now... We still have 98 million to spend, so 
Let's spend it. When it comes to Spanish players, a lot of people immediately think of midfielders like Xavi and Iniesta and all these guys. But I wanted to bring in Llorente here because I want someone that's going to work as hard as anyone in this pitch. And he is someone that can do anything. Defend, attack, pass, shoot, foul, anything that's needed. And for that reason, he's the perfect man for this squad. So this is my second signing that I'm going for. Douglas Luiz, I appreciate you, pal, but... This is not the place for you. I want Lorente next to Camara. I think that would be an insane partnership. Camara doing all the defending, spreading the ball from left to right, and Lorente just sprinting all over the place. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I was thinking of making like a couple of additions to the defense, but I got to say, there aren't that many players that I can get for this defense. And Paul Torres I already used this year, so I don't want to buy him again. So I'm kind of stuck here for options. I've also decided to go for not Inaki Williams, but his brother, Nico Williams, who is an amazing talent, by the way. You guys should definitely get him into one of your teams if you get the chance to do so. I wanted him in the squad as a backup. He is from Spain, a former now uh, Athletic Bilbao player now coming into our team. And I needed a backup for the winger position because uh, we didn't really have any decent ones there that I personally trusted in for the future. So... Williams, welcome to the squad. Hopefully you can help us out. Are you better at right wing? Yep, he is. I'm going to turn him into a right wing. Okay, okay. I've gone for one more. I've gone for one more because I realized, you know what? For the fullback position, we might have some issues moving forward because there aren't that many. So, Angelino is now part of our team. He comes in instead of Luca Digne. The Frenchman is 30 years old and I thought, you know what? This could be the perfect option. We are going to bring in a left back here who is going to play as a left wing back, obviously. But someone... I can do really well in terms of attacking. And uh, with that, the last transfer of Spain has arrived. Now we go through the season. Season's done. Now let's see how we have done, my friends. Have we done better than last time? Oh, yes. Oh, what? My transfers were good? Yes, they were. So we are on 67 points. And that means we're climbing up the league table. And look at the teams below us. Spurs and Chelsea. You suck. Aston Villa is better. Uh, <laughs> all jokes aside, let's go ahead and take a look at our team and how we have done in general. So Coutinho up to an 85. The 31-year-old man hopefully has performed just like he did last season. Watkins, only 82. Bit of a letdown. Definitely a position that I'm looking uh, to upgrade in the future for sure. Oyar Zabal, 87. Bailey, 86. Uh, 87 as well. Camara, 86. Let's go. Lorente, 86. That defense. Yep. That defense needs upgrading for sure. We need to work on that. Martinez, I'm very happy with. Angelino, 86. Let's go. Williams, 81. What did he come in at? 77, right? A hey, good growth. I love to see that. Let's see the performances then. Who has been the main guy? I'm putting my money on Oyar Zabal. I'm saying he's the one. Who was the one? Look, that's what you get. When you have a player that has passing, shooting, dribbling, all that covered, he just gets it done. 21 and 13, amazing season from this Spaniard coming in on that left wing position. Bailey with the 20 and 9. Watkins 15 and 5, which is okay, but it isn't necessarily incredible. I'm just watching PSG's game as we speak, and I think they might have just gotten a penalty or something. Anyways, no, it, it, they didn't. All good. Lorente 8 and 3. And then, uh, yeah, Coutinho did let us down a little bit this time around. Uh, maybe it's time for the old man to leave. I want top performers here. That is not acceptable. 33 games, 5 and 3. No, 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 no. So now it's time to spin this thing again. And you know what? We Let's do this like that. We can't get Spain again. So let's go. Whoop, 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 what the hell? The whole thing nearly fell off the table. That's the dark blue, which is Germany. Yes. Come on then. We gehen nach Deutschland. That means we're going to Germany. And we're going to Germany with a bag filled with 200 million you know what i'm signing a player who i actually met in real life and have a video of him and me in the same room i obviously did the fifa 22 ratings reveal with dortmund and julian brandt was part of it and now i want to give him a chance to take over here at the Aston Villa squad. He goes into the camp position instead of Coutinho. Julian, welcome and thank you for being the nicest guy on that day. 
when we had that recording session. Really happy to bring him in and happy to give him a chance to prove himself on this level because at some points or at certain points throughout his career, he was being looked at as one of the biggest talents in Germany and things haven't necessarily worked out too well for him at times. But man, he has moments of absolute brilliance and I wanted to give him a chance here in this squad. And I gotta say, this like the defense... You don't really have that many options when it comes to Germany. I thought Germany had more talents for this spot, but a lot of them are extremely low rated. And some of the higher rated ones are like Niklas Sule and Schlotterbeck. And I just felt like that was boring. So I didn't want to go after it. So I got to find different positions here to fit the Germans into. You know what? It's time for the comeback. And you know who it is? It's Timo Werner. Yes! The most incredible transfer Chelsea has ever had is back in the Premier League. Aston Villa is picking up Timo Werner and he is back. Well and truly, Ollie Watkins is gone. Timo Werner coming in at the rating of 84 and is a plus two upon the man that we have just let go. And I'm just happy to have him in this club. Brandt and Timo Werner, what a combination. Who would have thought but that is what we're going to bring into the squad. I'm actually really excited to see what these guys can do. Again, no wonder kids. 28-year-old. He is 28-year-old. Lorente, 29. Oyarzabal, 27. As you guys can tell, I'm bringing in a bunch of the old lads into this, into these teams right here. But uh, yeah, I still have like 180 million to spend. No idea what to do. Well, this deal is a bit funny. And here's the reason behind it. So David Raum goes from Hoffenheim over to Leipzig to become the left back, right? And then whoever was the left back, which was Angelino, goes over to Hoffenheim because he feels disrespected. And here they are, both in the same team. I'm going to turn one of these guys into a right back. David Raum and Angelino are going to be playing in the same freaking team. And I'm excited about it. And he was like one of the only options that I could really go for to improve this team uh, without going like too overboard and buying like a massive player. Uh, so I wanted to go for this deal and I'm actually pretty satisfied with it. So he's going to become a uh, right wing back or it's going to be Angelino. Angelino five star week, but okay. So Angelino goes over to the left and Raum uh, to the right and Raum goes to the left. Sorted. 50 million spent on him. I'm okay with it. Let's take on this season. Germany transfers are done. I'm currently watching Benfica against Porto. Porto is playing at home. That's going to be a huge game. It's already yellow cards flying all over the place. I love it. <laughs> uh, but let's see how we have done here. Have we seen progress? Yeah. 79 points, lads. We are seeing progress. Third position in the league. Champions League footy coming up right now. That's what we want to see. 88 points in Liverpool to win the title. Let's go. Uh, but let's see what we can get out of our team. Who has done well? So, Timo Werner and Brandt. Only a plus one for both of these guys, I'm assuming. Depending on how well they've performed, uh, we'll see what's going to happen in the future. Bailey, 89 rated. Oyarzabal, 88. Lorente, 87. Camara, 87. Diego Carlos, up to an 85. But he's old, so we need to bring two new centre-backs in. Ideally, personally speaking, I would like to do that. Angelino, 88. David Raum, up to an 85. Martinez, 87. And even our bench is kind of all right, you know. We have Matty Cash. We have Ramsey. McGinn, Williams. I'm pretty happy with the bench. I mean, look at that. Dini as well. 84 rated. Like, this bench is solid. Here it is now. Who has gotten things done for us? Is it Timo Viana? Is his comeback good in the Premier League? Whoa. 42 and 15. Chill, bro. <laughs> that is an incredible season from Oyar Zabal. He definitely should surpass the 90 next season after that one, or at least have the possibility to get there. Bailey, 24 and 9, just consistently performing. Brandt, 13 and 6. I love that. Team of Vienna, 7 and 5. Ah, uh, am I going to be one of those coaches that gives up on him? Possibly. <laughs> we'll see that. But now, let's spin the wheel and see what we get to buy next season. Oh, my friends. What are we going to be doing? I personally would love to get... Uh, you know what? I would love France. France would be sick because they have a bunch of amazing defenders, don't they? Let's do this. Come on, France, please. France, 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 France. Yellow. South America. Ooh, okay. I can't believe this guy doesn't get proper introduction. I, I cannot believe he doesn't have a real face. 
is one of the highest potential defenders in the game. It is Araujo, guys. He is apparently one of the most overpowered centre-backs in Ultimate Team. Now, he belongs to us. We can buy anyone from South America, and he is the one. So, Araujo, how do you feel in there? Hopefully, it's going to be a good partnership here with whoever comes in next to you, because I still have cash left. I have like 270 million to spend. Aston Villa just have too much money, huh? How about a world-class man? Lautaro Martinez is coming in right here right now to replace Team Oviana. Yes, guys, Team Oviana has only survived in a club for one season. That's it. That's all he has done. Lautaro, welcome. I hope you're going to do well, pal, because I am expecting you to step it up. And he comes in. With a 90 rating, it's a plus 5 on Timo Vianna. Actually, no, not a plus 5, a plus 4. Timo was an 86, wasn't he, when he left? But, hey, it's okay. I have one of the best South Americans in the team now. And you know what? I've given, I'm giving Konza another chance. Go ahead, pal. Do your best. We might just be going into the Europa League final. And yes, we are up against Spurs. Our team has gotten here now. And we won the FA Cup against Manchester City. Oh, this could be a big season then. Can we compete for the Premier League title too? That's something I want to see because if we can, we've already won a double. Let's see. How has the team done? We are in... I'm going to say second. I just feel it. We're second for sure. Yep, I knew it. Oh, by one point. Just one. Ah, oh, disgrace. Anyways, 82 points, lads. That is what it is. We just got to live with it. Europa League. Give me, give me the trophy. Give me the trophy. Spurs, bottle jobs. They're not going to win this. There's no way. Right? 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 Yeah, of course. Of course. Brandt. Two goals from our team. Brandt and freaking Konza. The man who I have given a chance to survive in this team. So, show me. The rest, show me who has performed, who has gone up in their ratings, how much has Oyar Zabal gone up. By the way, in this video so far, I haven't had to use the mods to fix the dynamic potential too many times. So, just a heads up. Anyways, Martinez, 92. Let's go. Brandt, 87. Oyar Zabal, 92. Deserved. 100% deserved, man. Lorente, 88. Camara, 88. Let's go. Uh, Bailey with a 90. Angelino, 89. Araujo, 90. Okay, Martinez, 88. How old are you? 33. Ooh, might have to replace him at some point. Not now. Uh, Konza, 85. Could be better, of course. 86, 87, 88 rated center back will be better. David Raum with the 86 rating. I'm pretty happy with those signings so far. Uh, the bench is still looking somewhat all right. Williams up to an 82. Our squad size is very, very small. So we can't really be picking up too many injuries. But now, let's see. Has Oyar Zabal been the man again? Is he the one? He is the one, bro. What is that? He's coming up with 47 goal contributions. Lautaro Martinez, 13 and 6. Brandt, 17 and 8. Bailey, 17 and 5. All those great numbers just don't look good next to this guy. <laughs> he is the best in the world. Give this man his Ballon d'Or. So, let's see what we get this time, my friends. I am hoping... You know what? I don't know why, but I'm kind of hoping for Italy. Let's say we're not allowed to get anyone that we have already gotten, okay? So, here we go. First spin of the day. No, not the first spin of the day, but let's go. It's the one I wanted. Thank you very much. Not my friends. Is that? No, that's pink. That's England. Look, it's pink. Oh, man, I wanted Italy. How about a little bit of Joe Gomez action? Yes, it's not a massive upgrade. He only comes in with a plus one over Konza. I kind of feel bad for Konza at this point, but hey, Joe Gomez is Joe Gomez. And where is he? Why is he not here? Oh, I'm at the end of the season instead of the beginning of the new season. Sorry, see you in a sec. Now he has arrived. Konza, you can go out and we'll take Joe Gomez. What? Why is he not here? He literally... I just had the cutscene of him walking into the club. All right, I'm going to move forward one day just for you, Joe. Just for you, Joe. Hopefully, you're fine of arriving at your new club on the second day. Sorry, pal, that I rushed you so much. Pre-contract player arrival. Konza, take him out. 
Ponza goes onto the bench, which is, again, a great bench defensively. Joe Gomez comes in, 86 rated. This guy is going to be amazing for us. Araujo and Joe Gomez, like, that sounds like a FIFA opponent's nightmare when it comes to that centre-back spot. I thought after the departure or the career ending of Danny Ings, it was time to bring in a different backup striker. And that man is Gellard. The big talent from Leeds United is now coming into our squad as a backup. Cost me 70k. He is 84 rated, I believe. And I think he's going to be a great addition to the squad because we do need someone to back up Lautaro Martinez. But those are the two Englishmen coming in, Joe Gomez and Gellart. And now we should, we should be going for all the titles. Easily getting past Galatasaray. Now we are through against Napoli. By the way, I really like that Napoli badge. But it's not good enough to get them past us. PSG in the semi-final. Is this the time? It surely has to be. We have a ridiculous team. Stevie G, this could have been you. 2-1 win against PSG. And a 3-3 draw. We are in the Champions League final, my friends. And you know what? Because this team is so high rated, for the first time, I'm going to play on ultimate difficulty on FIFA 23. I really, really think that's a terrible decision, but I'm gonna do it. So let's see, where are we in the league table? I would love to be able to win the double, right? The Premier League is 191 points for our team. Only 30 goals conceded, defensive masterpiece. We love it. And also now the team. The team coming up with Lautaro 93, Julian Brandt 88, Oyar Zabal 93, Bailey 91, Angelino 90, Araujo 91. Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> what a squad. Gellard up to an 86. Oh, mate, I cannot wait to use this team. We have such a good squad here. Players like Williams, players like Get. Gellard and also Ramsey can be subbed in mid burp. What the hell happened there? Konza is a really good option for the defense as well if players get tired. But I also want to see who has been the guy this season. Oyar Zabal? Question mark? Why am I even asking? <laughs> 46 to 16. <laughs> Mate. This guy is different. He's just built different. He might just be the best player I've used on FIFA 23 when it comes to like performing season on season on season. He's 30 years old now and he brings in 62. Listen again. 62 goal contributions. Are you mad? Wow, and then the 25 and 16 from Brandt is incredible as well. Lautaro, you're a letdown, pal. 16 and 7, that's not okay. But, ultimate difficulty, <laughs> this should be quite interesting if I might say so. Let's see what we have here. We have Patrick Schick, Hudson Odoi, Rodrigo, interesting. Uh, Pedri, ooh, okay. Gilmore, Chilwell, Endika, Gabriel, Cucurella, James, Diara. Who the hell is Diara? Hey, who cares? Let's switch up the difficulty. Ultimate difficulty it is. Ah, oh, boys, why am I doing this to myself? Why, 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 why? It won't, it literally won't. Oh, the mouse was stuck there. Ultimate difficulty. Yep, here it comes. I have genuinely no clue what I'm getting myself into here, guys. A Champions League final on ultimate difficulty. I have not done that yet on FIFA 23. And now that we have... One of the strongest teams that we've had so far in terms of rebuilds. I grew the balls to play it. <laughs> so let's see if this works into my favor or if I'm just going to, you know, fail miserably. Because why not? Let's just have some fun, shall we? Martinez. Martinez! First chance. Diara. Beautiful haircut. Love that. Oh, what the? Dude. Joe Gomez. I brought you in for a reason, not to score an own goal. Solid tackle. Get in. David Raum. Brandt. Down the left we go. Oyar Zabal, the main man, looking for Lautaro inside. Lautaro. Oyar Zabal. Oyar. Oh, wow. This goalkeeper is making this look way too easy. Rodrigo getting chased down. Oh, David Raum struggling with that one. Gotta cover the inside lanes. Gotta cover the inside lanes. And that's what we do. Great defending. Here we go. Llorente. 
down to Oyar Zabal. Oyar Zabal looking for the options inside. He finds one. Oh, beautiful move by Lautaro Martinez. Oh, mate. That looked sick. I love these power shots. I can already feel myself getting addicted to it. I only started using them since yesterday or something. Angelino not finding Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey finding the ball. That's how it goes, huh? Let's switch it up. Bang. Look at that. That's football. I love it. Oyar Zabal bringing it down easily. Oyar Zabal now receiving the pass. Sees the boys building up here. It's Julian Brandt getting taken out. But a free kick has been given. This could be a ridiculously good goal. Oyar Zabal. Ooh, outside of the boot, onto the crossbar. All right, <laughs> he can do it all. 65th minute. I feel like for some reason that this game is going to go to added time, to like extra time. So I'm not necessarily making any changes yet. Leon Bailey, why does it feel so slow? Like, I don't get it. Why do some players feel so freaking slow? Julian Brandt. Ugh, man. The counterattack is on. Leon Bailey and Brandt. Now already thinking of how to find Lautaro here. Exactly like that. What a ball from Julian Brandt. Lautaro. No, 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 no. That is not the one. You know what? I'm making the change. I'm making it. Lautaro, get out of here. I've not seen enough for such a high rated player. And you know what? Leon Bailey as well. He just doesn't feel good in game. I don't know what it is. He just does not feel fast. It's so weird to say that. But next chance we get, they're going to get subbed off. So... Here they go. This is their last chance to get something done. And air off. <laughs> Nico Williams chasing it back in the defense. Araujo, easy win. Yep, easy win. Now we move. Gellard is moving into position. We can find Julian Brandt. Gellard, lovely back heel. Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt. He's not the fastest, is he? Oh, mate. The defender literally read him so well. No chance for me there. I got to be covering multiple positions right here. Chelsea inside Araujo. Easy. What a ball that is. Here goes Brandt. Brandt looking for that run. He finds it. Gellard, 90th minute. Come on, son. Yes. 90th minute. Winner for Aston Villa. Yeah. Gellard, my guy. Forget about Lautaro Martinez. It's all about that kid right there. What a moment. Oh, mate. Ultimate difficulty. Come at me. I have beaten you. Look at that ball from Julian Brandt. The man gets his well-deserved assist and Gerard just smacks it into the roof of the net. I thought that was going to hit the crossbar. Honestly, I was so sure it would because it just flew too high, but it was just perfect. Yes, that's it. Get out of here, Chelsea. Let me enjoy my trophy ceremony. Here he comes, the goalkeeper, the captain. He's going to lift the trophy, the original of the squad. Aston Villa have done it. Stevie G is gone and we have rebuilt them to the max. What an enjoyable experience. Gotta say, Aston Villa has a boatload of cash, man. Every single season, we just had more and more money. So, uh, we gotta... It was a little bit easier than I thought in terms of, like, being able to make transfers. I thought it would be a little bit tougher, but no. Aston Villa, cash money, and it turned into a really enjoyable experience where we could try out many, many players. I gotta say, my favorite in this one possibly would have to be Julian Brandt. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I really like the way he played. Even though he had really low pace, he was sick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good day. Take care and peace.